To create a new project, navigate to the project settings. On the amplifier tab, set the number of amplifiers in your system first by using the arrows. The DNB remote ID has no relevance regarding remote control from an R90. Just the amplifier IP address is relevant for remote communication. In the IP settings box of the R90, select an amplifier and enter the assigned IP address of the respective amp. Continue with all remaining amplifiers. Note, within the network settings box, the actual IP settings of the R90 are displayed. When all IP addresses have been added, select Apply to save the settings. The R90 enables the user to recall previously stored AMP presets from DNB amplifiers. It is absolutely necessary to store AMP presets first in the amplifier before they can be recalled by an R90 preset. How to store AMP presets within amplifiers and for more information about creating AMP presets, see the amplifier manual, which can be downloaded from the related product page at dbaudio.com or check the R1 help section regarding AMP presets. If there are no AMP presets stored within an amplifier, an error will occur on the R90. The corresponding error message will be issued on the home screen. In the menu bar, an error list button will become accessible. By selecting this button, a detailed error list will be generated. The next step is to set the number of AMP presets which can be configured for recall on the R90. Then set the AMP preset which should be recalled in the amplifiers. Add information and assign the name to the preset. It is possible to import bitmaps for individual button icons or individual background pictures to be shown on the R90 screen later. To import the bitmaps into an R90, they must follow a special folder structure on a USB drive. For a button icon, there are two files for every preset icon required. One for the on and one for the off states. These preset icons need to be stored in a folder on the USB drive named Preset. The icon files must be in bitmap BMP format, 40x40 40 40 pixels, and must follow a certain naming convention. For the off state, they have to be named Preset minus off minus 1, Preset minus off minus 2, and so on. And for the on state, Preset minus on minus 1, Preset minus on minus 2, and so on. To set an individual button icon, proceed as follows. Select the right or left arrow in the Name Button Icon box until the message Load Preset from USB appears. Select Load Preset from USB. The button icons on the USB drive are loaded automatically. For a background picture, one bitmap file for every preset icon is required. This has to be stored in a folder on the USB drive named Background. The background files must be in bitmap BMP format. 440 by 360 pixels and must follow a certain naming convention. Background minus 1, background minus 2, and so on. To set an individual background picture, please proceed as follows. Select the right or left arrow in the background box until the message Load Background from USB appears. Select Load Background from USB. The background pictures on the USB drive are loaded automatically. When all AMP presets are assigned, select Apply to save the settings and remove the USB drive. To control relative levels and channel mutes on a running system, a dedicated R90 group assignment can be created for quick temporary adjustments. This group assignment is independent from the AMP preset assignment. It controls levels and mutes directly on the assigned amplifiers. On the Grouping tab, amplifier channels can be combined in a group. To assign amplifier channels to a group, select a group and enter a group name. In the amplifier selection, choose an amplifier and its respective channels to assign. Select Apply to save the settings. On the Assignment tab, faders and mutes can be assigned. To assign faders to a group, set the total number of faders. Then select a fader and assign it to a previously created group. If a mute button should be included in a control frame containing a fader, Activate Include Mute. If the Mute button should not be attached to a fader, set the number of mutes here and assign it to a group. Select Apply to save the settings. Each group can be addressed and controlled individually, using the Group Control function on the home screen. Level and mutes can be controlled group-wise. There's also a Mute button on the right side, but be aware of 
that this is a mute all button to all amplifiers assigned to the R90. In addition, the R90 provides an integrated web remote interface, which allows full access using a standard web browser. Enter the URL, which can be found in the R90 manual, into the address line of a browser window. Replace the part localhost with the IP address of the R90. Keyboard entries. Entries may also be made by using the number keyboard. However, depending on the behavior of the browser or its settings, some characters may not be accepted or may change the focus. Therefore, we recommend to use the mouse on the on-screen input masks and the on-screen keyboard of the R90 screen.